Hey, brother. Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt desert raid. I don't babysit. Just want to talk, man. Hoping to goad me into talking a bit? All right. What do you want? Just said that you wouldn't help, but okay. You'll have to ask around. It Comrade just asked Fortuna him, is a much more experienced hunter than I am. He hunts far from Anchorhead. The local Jawas are a good source of information, even if it is hard to understand them. It may cost you, though. Good hunting. Hi, guys. What's up? Kirk, there you are, Kirk. There's only one language you Gamorians ever understand, a blaster to your forehead. Okay, Karth, you actually do need to shut up right now. These guys are really making me angry. Okay, this is bravado. Okay. I don't want to just challenge them to die. Can I get into a bar okay, fight where no one actually you. dies? Did my wife send you? This ain't about credits, is it? You, you seem oh, quote Christ. knowledgeable. Who put you up to this, my wife? Yes. I mean, what I said about having no credits. Okay. Well, my name is Tannis, and what I do is hunt. I'm sure you've heard of me. Well, actually, I hope you haven't. Okay. Fine. Now. Goodbye. Hey, brother. Sure. Maybe can I sell you this? Okay. Yeah, license. No, Please. I didn't. I haven't got it yet. Please hurry. Yes, I get that. Okay, just take this. Thank you. Well then. Hello. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company? If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. What? Sure, let's talk about Griff. Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. You sound very convincing. Can you spare me a few moments? I have something I want to get off my chest. 
I want to tell you about one of our workers. His name was Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. Sounds like Griff. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the Sand People wouldn't have gotten him. Oh, great. He was lost in a Sand People raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. I'm sure they really read the fine point. Right. Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. Oh, I bet. That's why we've started a bounty program to thin the Sand People numbers. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Very well. Though I do have work to get back to. As I said, we are no longer well, selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but... I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. What is a hunting? The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Why <laughs> not their heads? Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. I wonder if I can do with that. Then you are free to leave the city just like everyone else. Zerker Corporation will welcome your eventual change of mind. Please feel free to enjoy the door behind you. No, screw you. Greetings again. Yeah, sure. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here is your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Nice. Very good. Sure thing. Hey, bro. Sure. What? How can I help? I do. How did you know? I guess I'm just awesome like that. But in all honesty, the narrator told me. I'm a Jedi. I am far too disciplined to betray my emotions with output ah, physical didn't even say about emotions. You're giving me more. You both know the real to. reason. You have some idea of what I'm thinking. The bond we share. Maybe. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. What's that supposed to mean? A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. Well, maybe I'm just awesome. I don't think there's much you can do. Oh, great. If things were different, I would recommend several input. years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the You're Force. You have a natural affinity with the Force, too. 
What's wrong with you? I'm sorry if I come across as harsh, but I am concerned for you, for our mission, and for myself as well. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. I would never say these options. I would just be like, oh, okay. I believe you truly mean what you say, for now. But sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I, I don't think I'll compromise the No, of course not. Not yet. But there will be challenges ahead that might make it otherwise. That's very I nice. I hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. Alright, well, while we're at it, Karth, you have some crap you want to say to me? Yes, what's on your mind? Yeah, figured. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Well, the game says you do, so let's do it. <laughs> Cute. Nice to know you're so full of concern. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt, though. I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most. Saul. Hmm. With good Lost. reason. Admiral be. Stahl Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Stahl was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. Stahl was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst. I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. That's very I, mean, nice. I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. I don't know, maybe. He might have killed me if I tried, or I might have killed him. I was stupid, however, and I let him go. I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. That's it? No, no, it's not. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Well, you are leveled quite a few levels, so, um... Yes, what's... No, it's not anything else. Bastard, yeah. where do you think you're going? Hello, Rita. Alright. <coughs> now can we go sell that crate plate? Okay, I mean, you're right. That's my. Bear. <laughs> Talk 
Kuya, I'm just gonna keep the night. In a good mama. Uba batu koji. Yeah, great. Bye. Okay, gotta go sell this now. No, I haven't sold it yet. Shut up. Yeah, I got a Okay, I guess that's it. Yeah. Alright, so we're running in around the lane of these kids. Oops, just dropped a. Uh... I'm gonna be a tough guy this time around. You're welcome, everyone. Just saved you from intimidation. Isn't evil per se? Well, uh, yeah. You're welcome, guys. Just made the uh, pigs leave. No big deal, just kind of a awesome thing. All right, fine. Here you go. You're back. You have. I think I'm giving her an extra 200 and pretending like I just sold it for that much. Um, sure, I guess. I'll be a good deal. 700 credits! Oh, thank you. It is. Glad to see we're still the good guys here. Sometimes I think we forget that. Why are you still crying over Thank you for helping when I exploded at those moments? It may mornings. not seem like such a great thing to you, but you were making a difference. Yeah, you're welcome. For whatever it means, may the. I know, guys. I'm just kind of uh, awesome. I mean, like, what can I say? Hey, <sighs> not the office. Swoop. Swoop. Yay. It's actually, uh, populated in here. Do. Go on, leave me alone. I've got stuff to worry about. Mm -hmm. Racer stuff. Nothing you'd understand. Mm, it's not like I'm just to rude, beat the, but it's uh, kind of secret. The terrorist tournament. Yes, indeed. Ha! Sure. Race your bike out of that explosion. Yes. Everyone knows that the whole planet is gone. Nobody got out. I'm not in the mood for jokes, thanks. I've got things to think about. You wouldn't know anything about it. Deal with that hut mata and you will understand. Until then, I just don't want to talk about it. Okay. Baba Hassan I don't actually want to ask any questions, I was just talking to you for the sake of completion. 
Hey, can I have this? Okay, there's nothing here. Hey, a woman. Tangabushan Om Nang, Wangakun B. Chinapala Mule. Muchashakapaka, Yi Ki Kun, no bum. Alright, those guys. Something tells me you people don't have anything to say. 